Hi Facebook, this is leads to list the latest application from us and this application is to help marketers who are advertising on Facebook market better and what it does is people who are giving lead generation ads on Facebook they are generating leads but they are not actually able to use the leads for anything because they just get a list of the leads so this software connects Facebook to autoresponders and it connects you know Facebook lead ads to all the prominent autoresponders like Aweber, Constant Contact, MailChimp and all the others. So here's how it works and I will also explain the permissions we need. The permissions we need are manage pages and publish pages. So let's start with the pages permission. So the first step that you need to do to get leads to list working is to click on pages and that will show a list of all the Facebook pages that you've already added to the software. You can add a new Facebook page to the software, give the permission to the software by clicking on add new pages and that will take you to Facebook and it's going to get the list of all the pages in your account using Facebook API. So these are all the pages in my account and I can add any page I want to leads to list. So I can just click on the page for example this one, click on add page and that page will be added to my account and when I go back to the pages section I will see this page in my account so here here's the page you can see Jeet's hotel test page that's been added the second step is to connect Facebook advertising to Jeet's hotel test page so for that I will need to start giving a start an ad in uh, Facebook uh, for this page so I'm just gonna do that click on page you can see I selected Jeet the total test page and the objective of this ad is lead generation because this is an application which connects you know lead advertisers and lets them connect their Facebook leads to their autoresponders so just a little digression to connect an autoresponder just like we connected Facebook pages you can also connect autoresponders click on autoresponders and then you will see a list of all the autoresponders that have been already added and to add an autoresponder, you click on add autoresponder, you select which autoresponder you want to add and based on what kind of autoresponder that is, you will uh, see the settings for each autoresponder. For example, Aweber needs consumer key and consumer secret, GetResponse needs API key. So whatever is required for your autoresponder to work, that you will need to fill in and the autoresponder will be added and it will show up like this one. For example, I have added MailChimp and this is my account name. These are the number of the lists. The second thing that you need to add is the lead form. Now the lead forms are you are extracted from Facebook using the API. Just like we got the pages, we also need to get the lead forms. And the lead forms are a part of Facebook advertising. So to, before you can get a lead form, you will need to first start a lead generation ad. So we are we have started a lead generation ad here. Click on pages. It's going to ask you to accept the terms when you first run it for the first time. So you can read the TOS and you can accept it click on accept and that that's it that's what's required then you you can add an optional catalog if you want but for this ad we don't want anything like that and if you want to put any custom audiences you can do that so uh, at this for this ad we don't want to require we don't require any custom audiences also so we're just going to keep this generic because i want to take you to the place where we get the forms ad uh, we get the lead form so i've just i'm just going to click on continue and let's go with this image which is fine by me and some text so this is some test text and we can put this in the headline too and we're just gonna say sign up which is good for lead generation ads and then we gotta get a lead form this is where you collect you create a lead form right here so click on new form and you'll be asked some questions like form type and intro and everything I'm just gonna fill it up quickly because this is standard Facebook information okay, so I have filled all this info in the form type the intro I filled in I filled in what information I need the email and the name I filled in my privacy policy URL and the thank you screen I'm gonna use the default and when I'm done with all of that I can just go on to the next click on save and this lead form will be saved so it's called untitled form 2018 and whatever I can see the lead form over here so now I should be able to see the lead form inside my inside my leads list interface also for that I need to click on add lead form and select the page that the lead form is set for which is Jeet's hotel test page click on add form as you can see I can see the lead form over here 
and I can click on add lead form and the lead form is also added to my Facebook page so I just added this lead form from this Facebook page and now I can now you know we are using webhook technology because uh, webhook is used for uh, you know to notify our app whenever a new lead signs up and the lead gen webhook is what we are using and that is enabled by manage pages and publish pages so once we have this permissions all of this setup is already done and people will be able to sign up using Facebook and their leads will be taken to the favorite autoresponder of the user and that way the user can actually use the leads and market the lead and market to the leads and this software actually you know makes it practical for internet marketers website owners or any businesses to use lead gen to use lead gen ads effectively and the final step is connecting the lead form ad from the page to the autoresponder and we do that in campaigns so click on campaigns and you can start a new campaign let's clear a new campaign clicking the add campaign button and let's call it my campaign and select the page which was Jeet's hotel test page for us and you will see the lead form entitled form that I had set up select the autoresponder which was MailChimp and just select a list on the autoresponder so it gets the list from the autoresponders using the autoresponder API so we can select the list and if you want to select to set up a me welcome message like thanks for subscribing or whatever you want you can do so but in this case let's go for none and click on add campaign now whenever a new lead is generated on Facebook and you can go back to campaigns and see that your campaign has been added now whenever a new lead is generated on Facebook from the Facebook ad it automatically gets called uh, you know it automatically, call, automatically calls the webhook on leads to list and it automatically submits the lead to the autoresponder using the autoresponder API so it happens quite transparently once the user has set up the autoresponder, once the user has set up the lead form and connected it using a campaign, then things are pretty transparent. As long as the ad is running on Facebook, the leads that which sign up come in directly into the autoresponder. So this is exactly how the software works. This is the entire software. So this is why we need the permissions. The permissions we need are manage pages to get the page information and publish pages to enable the webhook where we use the lead gen you know uh, uh, the lead gen webhook that we need uh, to enable the webhook we need we need these two permissions and that's all we need actually for this app so i'm hoping that you will give me give us a quick approval so that we can take this app live thank you very much